Suppose you have this website, a hardware catalog which has machines and manufacturers. And now you'd like to migrate this catalog into WordPress. And you want to keep the exact same content structure that you have today. You also need convenient editing screens for different types of content. And finally, you want to quickly display your content any way you choose, in tables, grids, list with filters, etc. Does it sound like a complex task? Yes, it does. But as soon as you use the right WordPress plugins, it becomes easy. Hello, my name is Agnes, and in this video, I'm gonna guide you through the migration process. You will learn how to set up your WordPress structures to reflect your current database schema, including post relationships, how to export and then import your data into WordPress through the CSV files, and how to approach creating templates for displaying your data on the front end without using PHP. So let's get started. Let's start with a fresh copy of WordPress. By default, we only have posts and pages. In our custom database, however, we have machines and manufacturers, each being represented by a set of different values. So to store all these values, we need something more advanced than just regular WordPress posts and pages. Fortunately, WordPress allows us to create custom post types and define the so-called custom fields. But here's the challenge. WordPress will use only two tables to store all that extra stuff. These are posts and post meta tables. And the question is, how would you map your machine and manufacture tables into these two mysterious WordPress tables? And here's the solution. Let a plugin do the dirty work for you. So first, we are going to use the toolset types plugin and create a new post type for each of our tables. So we create the machine post type to store the machines. and the manufacturer post type to store the machine makers. Now we are going to add fields to these post types and the fields will represent the columns in our tables. You create a group of fields and you add your fields. Let's add color as the single line field which is basically a text field and the net weight as a numeric field. So I'm going to choose number. The process of creating fields is pretty straightforward and you just need to do the same for all other fields of your database. Once you are done in your WordPress, you should see two new post types, machines and manufacturers with a bunch of custom fields each. Okay, the basic structures look pretty good, but there is one more thing to handle. Often, your custom tables will have connections. In our example, manufacturers are connected with machines. Stay with me to see how you set up post relationship in Toolset. So in our example, a given machine can be made by only one manufacturer, but a given manufacturer can make many machines. So we need to establish the so-called one-to-many relationship. In Toolset, it's easy. You go to Toolset, Relationships, and create a new relationship between your post types. Manufacturers and machines in our case. And that's it. Now our WordPress site has all the structures to store your data. 
Obviously, you can go and insert your data manually, but if you have lots of data, certainly that's not an option. Stay with me to learn how to speed up the process by using the CSV files. To move your content from custom tables into WordPress, we need to take two steps. First, we need to export the tables into CSV files and then import the data from the CSV files into WordPress. To handle the export part, we are going to use the PHP My Admin tool. And to import the data, we'll use some WordPress plugins. Let's handle the export part first. To access our source database, you need to log in into the PHP My Admin tool. And in the Designer tab, you will see your database structure. But PHP My Admin also allows you to run an SQL query and save the results in a CSV file. So let's use it. First, we are going to export the manufacturers. So we switch to the SQL tab and we are going to select all records and columns except the inner ID. Let's run the query. OK, it looks good. So now we just need to export the results. You click Export, select CSV, and in Custom Settings, we'll check column names, so these are exported as well. OK, the file is ready. And looks as expected. Now we are going to do the same with machines. But this time we'll slightly modify our query to replace the manufacturer ID with the full name. To access the manufacturer full name, we need to join the machines tables with the manufacturers tables. Using full names will help us later on to establish the correct relation when we'll be importing the CSV files into WordPress. The results look as expected, so we can proceed with the export. Let's check the file. This one looks good as well. And now we are ready to import the files into our WordPress. Stay with me to see the best WordPress plugin for importing CSV files into WordPress. To import our CSV files, we'll use the WP All Import plugin. You can download it from the WordPress repo. You also need the toolset Types add-on to handle types custom fields and make the connections between your posts. Let's start with manufacturers. You go to all import, start a new import, and you upload your file. Select your post type, manufacturers in our case. And here in step three, you map fields. Simply drag and drop the column names into appropriate WordPress fields. OK few more steps. And once the import process is finished, you should see all your manufacturer posts in your site. The migration of the machine post works pretty much the same, but in addition, we need to connect machines with existing manufacturers. For this, we'll use the relationship section where we put the manufacturer name as the connector. OK, all the records have been successfully imported. And 
if you visit a single machine now, you will see that the connection with the corresponding manufacturer has been created. So we have the structures, the relationships, and now all the data in our WordPress. Now it's time to display the data on the front end. If you stay with me for a couple of more minutes, you'll see how to approach creating templates without using PHP. Typically, you'll need the following templates for your WordPress site. Templates for single items. These would be single machine and single manufacturer templates in our case. Archive pages. Consider these as a kind of index of all posts that belong to a certain post type. And different list of items. Lists are similar to archives, but lists can appear anywhere in your site, in regular pages, sidebars, or even this can be part of your other templates. Both lists and archives might include filters. The great news is that you can create all of these templates directly from your WordPress admin without using PHP if you use Toolset plugins. You'll need the Toolset Views plugin, and if you are the drag and drop approach fan, you can also use the Toolset Layouts plugin, or even one of the page builders Toolset is integrated with. But for this video, let's stick to the Toolset Views only. Now let me show you how quickly you can display a list of machines in a table. We are going to create a view for machines. And let's use the loop wizard. We select the table. And on this screen, we decide which machine fields will be displayed in a single loop iteration, which is basically a table row in our case. So we are adding different machine fields but you can even choose fields from other tables. Tables that are connected by post relationships. And it will be machine manufacturer in our case. And that's it. Our view is ready. Let's preview it by creating a draft page that will include it. Okay, the table looks pretty good. Naturally, you can customize it further if you want. Creating all other kinds of templates in Toolset is just as easy. And moreover, you can even create front-end forms in case you need a simplified editing interface for your project. Ugh, that was long. But as you can see, migrating your existing site and custom tables into WordPress isn't that difficult, especially if you split your work into smaller chunks and use the right tools. To sum up, use the PHP My Admin tool, CSV files and the WPO import plugins to migrate your tables into WordPress. And the toolset plugins will take care of the content structure post relationships, and the front-end display. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.